start. I'm gonna show you guys how to start and do the new strength test for the Embargo engine. This is needed for the title. So to start this off, you have to go ahead and do Sabathun's Fire uh, and get to the end here. And there's a new card, new opaque card here to pick up. This gives you the strength card, which is needed to progress into the new uh, puzzle, basically. So let's get this card here. You're good to go. Go back to the, uh, uh, the lectern and claim the uh the buff now spoilers i will explain how it works um but if you don't want to know how to do it i would recommend doing it blind it's more fun like that for puzzles and stuff but if you're still confused we'll go over what you need to do for that so it's the card at the bottom here if you are still you know worried there it is the gift of strength so once we head back into the embargo engine we'll show you guys here it is everything's done correct you should have new dialogue uh when you're heading up here that means that you can progress into the unborrowed engine so let's go ahead and show you guys I keep saying that but uh, so we don't you don't have to do the first one you could just pass it even if you finish the first one it's an end activity so the cutting test we'll just go on here and head through the uh strength so here like i said spoilers ahead if you don't want to know <laughs> things here but it's very quick once you know the solution. So uh, there is that. Very, very quick. I might mess up, but it should be the same for everybody. There shouldn't be any uh, confusing part. Oh, not confusing. Uh, randomization, I'm pretty sure. And also, it's a, bit, it's a bit weird as well. I'll explain it before showing it. Let's head through the door here. All right. So we're going to go ahead and part the mists here. And to start this puzzle, you're going to go ahead and head up here and do a deep sight. And this will show you the start of the puzzle. So start with the puzzle, follow the footsteps. And the first one, you have to go ahead and kill this knight. You're now going to have to keep on killing these knights, basically. Now, there's a, it gets a bit weird that... Uh, we're not kill, kill the knights, but it the uh, look at the direction it's going into. So the next one would be this knight. And then the next one will be uh, that knight over there. But the issue is, which I'll show, uh, somewhat, it skips by two when you get, when you kill Curse Thrall. So I don't know why it does that, but I think that's just part of the puzzle. So, sort of puzzle for the first knight. Then we kill second knight. Then we kill third knight. Then it's the first knight thrall here whoops i think it's because knights equal one and thrall equals two so now we skip the knight here we go to this thrall then hop on the path skip this thrall i mean do that kill up though and then the outer side here and we're skipping the knight out here since thrall was two Skip that knight, and we're ahead inside here. Kill the first thrall. One, two, skip that thrall. One, two, and one, two. And now, right there, finishes the puzzle for this. Not time gated, as in if you missed a week, you can still get this one. You can do both puzzles in one week. So, there is that. Um, like I said, that is going to be for the title triumph here may you never cease and there is much more secrets apparently within this engine now as you can see i mean there's two more triumphs I'm not sure though but there might be more but i don't know that's it hopefully you guys enjoy that and uh yeah i will be uh getting the title next week week seven